here. All right, we still got that. I'm gonna get rid of that. You know, it sucks because I can't see. And I'm gonna kind of go over there. That's still not good. Like that. Okay, fantastic. Now I can't see a damn thing. All right. It's like I'm. It's like I'm literally in the dark. Hold on. Here's the problem. Hence the problem. <sighs> okay. So, all right. That's, it's, see, it's still kind of, it's kind of blurry. Let's see. Marky Mark, good morning. Can you hear me okay? Because it looks kind of, good morning, Gail. Because it looks uh, kind of fuzzy, but hold, hold on. Hold, bear with me a moment. brighter my my crazy hand you know what that looks a little better now i look now i look worse but all right it's good thank you mark thanks marky mark so good morning i can't see a thing i can't even read my paper <laughs> i can't read my paper because see when i do that look at it gets all all right we got to figure this out. I'm sorry. So hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You know what? This is going to, it's going to have to be because I can't, I can't. Help me, Jesus. Okay. You know, this is a very high budget operation. I just wanted to let y'all know. No, it's not. I can't see. So wait. All right. Hold, hold on. Just give me a, bear, bear with me because it's always fun always fun all right now if i did that right say i did that nope that looks worse oh my god oh my jesus all right so i'm gonna go over here look at we're gonna go around the back door sometimes sometimes you gotta go through the back door you know all right that's really bad but we're not gonna we're not gonna nope don't worry about it mm. all right that sucks all right This is this has got to get corrected immediately. This has got to get corrected. Well, that's gonna to have to stay like that because then I can. Oh boy. Well, it is what it is. So anyway, good morning. It is Monday. I can't believe it. Can't believe it's not butter. Remember that? I can't believe it's not butter. I need my coffee. I can't believe it's not butter. I couldn't. We talked about this, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't eat that stuff. I tried. And like even now, we have to try and lose a few poundages because of um, like weddings and things like that. Just weddings, really. Weddings. And I said, well, we can eat pudding. Because pudding, all right, so think about this. I don't know if you guys like box pudding. So that's been our thing for a little bit, just a, you know, short window of time. So last night I made more pudding. I got it at Dollar Tree, so it was only a dollar. However, eventually, I guess our Dollar Tree is going up to a dollar twenty-five, which is still a good deal on some items. Some items are not even worth a dollar in that store. I'm just saying, but mostly a dollar's good. So I got Dove Pudding Mix box, good size box made some pudding last night and I look at it and it's only 80 calories per serving. You get four servings out of a box, but I put extra milk in it. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's really 70 calories. But me, because I am who I am, I had to put whipped cream on mine. Oh, that's nice. Because I had, it, I had to give it a little extra something, something. And I did notice that whilst I was eating the pudding, yeah, it was a bit, 
it was not watery. It was firm. It was firm pudding. Like you know, it's got to get, it's got to get firm. Yeah. It was a little more diluted with the extra milk that I put in, hence being that it would be less calories. That's great. So I enjoyed it. And I think that's going to have to be our saving grace when we so want chocolate. Saving grace for what? Yeah. Hi, Jeannie. Good morning. Oh, hi, Jeannie. Hi, Gil. Hi, Mark. Are you awake? Why are you so mad? I'm not mad. I'm just waking up. You're being all mad. You're like, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm, not. I'm just waking up. But you know, you, when you've the had the best part of waking up is folders in your cup. The best part. Wait, As I was saying before I was interrupted, I've only had a half a cup of coffee. So. Well, you saying it like that. That half a cup because of coffee. Because you, 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 you say I'm mad just because it's Monday. And it's just you, another manic Monday. Oh my God! Whoa, hey. whoa! I wish it were Sunday. E e but here's the th no, I don't wish it was Sunday because you know why? Yesterday was so flipping cold. We went nowhere yesterday. That's fine. We just hung out. Yeah. Well, great. I listed five million things on eBay, which was great. Yeah. I did some catching up there. That's I still great. got another pile to go through, which is fine. Yeah. I will get that done. And yeah, it was so cold. But we woke up this morning. I took right. Louie out and I said, Right. Oh, 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 oh. There was no snow on the ground. There's no snow. All gone. F Friday, we had over eight inches of snow. Bye bye. And, and, and you know who likes to show is the girl who just popped on just a second ago Kendra. Kendra. Hey, hey, she doesn't have to shovel. She's very lucky. She has an association that does it for no, her. No, no, wait, 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 wait. She what does. Is no, no. The association didn't do it. Her counterpart her her partner in crime chris to the shovel oh you know why it, 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 wait a minute don't they shovel at least the driveways no no they do but chris can't wait for them well yeah he leaves pretty early he leaves well he leaves early so he he shoveled really early and he got on the highway and he says the driving on a friday morning was treacherous yeah but he got to work he's fine and he you know he spent the weekend with his loved one and the you know, with his loved one. His loved one, you know, and they watched the snow gun down from the whatever they did. Oh gosh. I just so say, Kendra, thanks for popping on. Happy Monday to you. So Mark wants to know how my blower is doing. Just as good as your blower. You know, it's so crazy how you were out there for so long two days ago. Well, yeah. three, three days ago. <clears throat> and now it's all gone. All gone. Yeah, it took me like all, almost all day because I had to take breaks, but it was fine. And the blow worked great in my did a lot of shelling, but it's, it's insane. fine. But it's fine. Insane. But um oh you got a a, a big interview coming up on th Thursday, right? With uh, what's the name? Uh, Apollonia. That's Won't gonna you take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My so god. So if if you don't know by now, Kiki's doing an interview with Apollonia. The, 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 she's very talented. Very, and a very beautiful girl, too, oh by the gosh. way. Very very beautiful. Honestly, she's more beautiful today. Not that she wasn't beautiful then, she's, but she's yeah. more beautiful today. But she was in the Prince movie Purple Rain and yep. uh, she did so much stuff. So I think it's a real treat that, that you're going to talk to her. I mean, a treat. I'm, it's like I'm, I, I know I'm hyperventilating. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, she, when I got I, the word, I'm like, oh I my know. God. I'm sure. Oh she, my gosh! I'm sure she's got a lot of a lot to say. That's going to be on Thursday night on Kiki.fm at seven o'clock. Let me finish what I'm right. saying first. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking, please, because then I will get mad. Seven o'clock Eastern and four o'clock Pacific. What are you going to say, Kiki, before you interrupt me? I bet there's going to have to be a part two. Really? Yeah. Can you can you adjust your microphone a little bit? It's uh, like bothering me. What's it? Adjust it where then? I don't know. Don't don't, don't worry. About mm. it. The adjust it. No. Like what? <laughs> don't, 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 Is that okay? That's okay. You can tell it's Monday, huh? God, jeez. Can you believe it's uh, January 10th already? No. God. I really can't. But you know what's you know what's the greatest part about today being January tenth? Hold on. There's the, the, I know the greatest thing about today. There's a woman from Drake, Massachusetts, watching us and listening to us right now. Good that, morning, that, Maria, and good morning, Shelley. Oh good my. morning, Tracy. This is very exciting. 
Frick Soiton. I got to right. turn this. You know what? How about let, let's go. Cool. Well, listen, do, 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 you, right, here, you talk okay. about this every day for the last well, few You just I, fix the darn thing and just make it I'm work. I'm trying to see what's going on. Good. Well, put the light on, on your stuff and just stop talking about it. Just fix it. So, well, yeah. Okay. It's, it's easy for you, cowboy. But anyway, so the very exciting thing for me this evening, and maybe for some of you this as evening? well, this is evening? that Darcy and Stacy make their premiere. Tonight on TLC, eight what o'clock Eastern, five o'clock about? Pacific. Darcy and Stacy, the twins from Connecticut. Oh, next date over. I love them. Do you think they've had? I just love them. Do you think they've had facial work? They actually have. Their final episodes were them getting things done in Turkey. In Turkey? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So I am pretty excited. I just I can't stop watching those two. And Darcy. Oh my gosh, Darcy needs to find a good love match and she needs to just mm. calm down a little bit. That's all. Cause she's so right. great. I mean, they're both, they're both awesome. I love them. Right. But poor Darcy, you know, she just can't get that love guy. Really? Yeah. What's her problem? I don't know. Like I, she's very intense. Well, maybe that's what her problem is. But her and Georgie were supposed to get married. They were engaged. And I Georgie? guess they broke up. Oh, no kidding. So now, like, I don't know, they're showing teasers that he, him and her are going to meet. So it'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. Very oh, that's excited. great. Georgie. This, is that his real name? Georgie? Yeah, that's his name. Georgie. I wonder how you spell it. G-I-O-R-G-I, no, I believe. Oh, I think great. so. That's great. Yeah. Good. Georgie. So, so tonight, Darcy and Stacey on TLC. We should, we should actually go meet them in the, uh, Middletown, Connecticut, because that's not too far. It's about an hour drive. I don't think they're here anymore. I think oh, they're really? either in, well, I mean, on the show, it looks like they were yeah. trying to move to Miami, so I don't know if they did, or I know they wanted to go to L.A., but I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where they are, but yeah, I, don't, I, were, I don't think they're I in know Connecticut. I know a lot of anymore. shots of the program. They show the Connecticut River with the yeah. boat. There's a restaurant uh, on the in Middletown, Connecticut called America's Cup. And that used to be well. That I, that's so they don't, they don't live there anymore, as far as you I know. don't believe so because you know they got to go where the action is. Go where the action is. I mean, they just look too good to be in Connecticut. You know really? what I mean? Like I know that there are there are right. very famous people who live in Connecticut, but right. they they need to get out in the open because they've had they've had way too much work done to be oh my sitting God. in Connecticut. They got to get out. What do you mean so much work done? What does that mean? No, like they they just. They, Plastic surgery. They look great. Well, they. they how like, old? How old are they now? I don't know. They get there in their early forties. No way. Are I would you, think. No. Well, they just did. A, yeah. their, one of their episodes. It showed them getting their teeth shaved down to wait, little, wait, 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 little wait, wait, nubs. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Getting the teeth shaved down. Yes, yeah, so they could get all new teeth. Oh my god! They had like every single tooth in their mouth. So shaved down. What was, the girl, what was the girl's name who was going out with Georgie? What was her name? Darcy. Now, do you think is there an age difference between Georgie and Darcy? I think a little. A little. I don't think it was huge though. Yeah. Like even if it was a decade, but in today's years, that's nothing. So Georgie was on the program with Darcy for a while, right? Mm-hmm. So, so the question I have for I think you: two seasons. The question two, I have for you and the rest of the radio listening audience this morning is: what is what did Georgie do for a living? Um. Right. He lived with Darcy. Right. And the thing is that all these reality and these TV shows that I see on TV, like like the Desperate Housewives, nobody does anything for a living. Real they, 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 they don't do anything. They're not desperate. They, they, they're they, real. they don't do anything. They just live off the, the, the TV. And when the TV career is up, <laughs> what do we do with our lives now? So when I was reading about Darcy and Stacey, I was trying to look up the, the time that it comes on tonight. I'm like, I saw a couple of other things. These reality stars don't make any money at all. Really? Why? Like a thousand to fifteen hundred per episode. Are you kidding? Then why but bought- I think Darcy and Stacy make more because they have their own show. Yeah, but it costs them more than that to maintain themselves for one week. Well, they have a fashion line. Shoot, what's uh, House of Eleven? I think it's called. House and I guess they make a ton of money with that because celebrities actually wear their clothes. Which who know? I don't know. Well, I why would, know why they wear their clothes? Do they want to f- f- grow up and be they like, like them. Oh, they good. like they like their style and their fashion. Yeah. That's good. I like their fashion, but you need you need. You need to have big baboombas to wear what they, they wear. They have big what? Baboombas. Like what, I couldn't, what's, a, what's a baboomba? The the 
the, the, well, the well, breasts. Well, I couldn't. The br- I could not wear their clothing and look good because I just don't look like them. So you have to have big babumbas in I order mean, to wear their fashion line. It, so, so anybody who wants to, but if you have to, have, to fill it out to make it to look fill it out, right, big babumbas. Yeah, I don't. I babumas. don't. I don't have that at okay. all. Okay, well I do. So maybe I can wear their fashion line. Me with the big babumas fashion line by Dossie and Boy, Stacey. that would be interesting. That'd be really good. That'd I, be a I fun would, night I, out. I would, I would actually go on camera for that. Oh, boy. No, because if I figured... I hope it, not. If I figured I could wear the fashion line by Dossie and Stacey with the big babumas and make money, I'd do it. So why not, right? Yeah. So. All right, so we got to get going okay, here. Okay, now, now it's time on your Manic Monday for Classic Rock Raw on Kiki.fm and YouTube at Kiki Classic Rock. On this Monday, January 10th of 2022, welcome and good morning to everybody. This was so sad to hear. I could honestly, I still can't believe it. Comedian and former Full House star Bob Saget has died. Now, this is really crazy and unusual. It's very strange because there were no signs of foul play or drugs. He was at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando as he just started his I Don't Do Negative tour, which included both stand up comedy and music. Now, Bob played Danny Tanner, the dad on Full House, Candace Cameron, Jody Sweeten, and Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen were all on there. This is how Mary Kate and Ashley became gazillionaires after the show. Now, this was a top tier show. Then Fuller House came out as a Netflix series in 2016 and ran through 2020. Bob also hosted America's Funniest Home Videos from 1989 through 1997. He did a ton of other things as well. And as of this writing, I wrote this last night, there was no information on who found him in the hotel room. Bob Saget was only 65 years old. One of those crazy things that I think is just going to be, it, it, it's a mystery, total mystery. So hopefully we can find out what happened there. And uh, yeah, lots of love going out to his family. Okay. So also another death that happened over the weekend. Thank you so much, Mark, for sending this over. Michael Wang, the co-creator of the music festival that defined literally a generation was able to get about half a million people to watch artists perform on a farm in upstate New York. Michael Lang has passed away. Artie Kornfeld, Joel Roseman, and John Roberts, along with Michael, figured about 50,000 music lovers would show up, but they got just a few more than that. Now, how the men actually got to use Max Yasger's farm is a bit muddled, as Michael told his story, but Elliot Tiber, who wrote the 2007 book Taking Woodstock, says that he offered his 15-acre farm for the festival, but Michael says that Elliot hooked him up with a realtor who got the connection with Max going. Now, the residents of the town wanted absolutely nothing to do with this festival because they didn't want the hippies taking over, like Al. Because Al was a hippie. Yeah, now, if, great stuff, man. I'll tell you, there's nothing like Woodstock days. Uh, I, I wasn't there, but the, just to the, the be alive and to experience all the people who went and the, playing the music on the radio and the just Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young uh, and, and all the people who were there, you know, it was, it was epic. And it just, I can remember this day just holding the Woodstock album in my hands and being so excited to play it on the radio cover to cover back and forth for hours and just people just listening to it and just absorbing it it was a different time back then i mean it was cool i mean people didn't take showers for weeks it was great now of course we all know that the festival happened and yes fifty thousand people did show up but they showed up before woodstock even began they were like me at market basket waiting for the doors to open but there were no doors to open at Woodstock, it was just an open field there. Not even a ticket booth to collect the tickets they had sold because there just wasn't enough time to put one up. So whether you had a ticket or not, you were allowed to go and see the iconic music festival of, of all of our time, Woodstock. 
from Jefferson Airplane to the Grateful Dead to Jimi Hendrix closing out the festival on that Monday morning, about 10 hours later than he was supposed to play, but he hung in there. Woodstock is a music event that changed and opened up the way for rock and roll. It really did. I mean, when you sit back and think about it, Woodstock totally opened. There were no doors there, but they opened a bunch of doors. Now, Michael went on to help produce Woodstock festivals in 1994 and 99 and tried unsuccessfully to have a 50th anniversary festival to celebrate the original Woodstock. But sadly, it just did not and could not come together. Michael managed many artists. I was kind of blown away by this, including Joe Cocker, Ricky Lee Jones, and Billy Joel. Crazy, right? Michael also had a record company called Just Sunshine Records and MLO, the Michael Lang organization, also worked with many artists, including Snoop Dogg, Madonna, and Prince. Michael passed away from non-Hodgkin lymphoma at the Memorial Sloan Rettering Cancer Center in New York City on January 8th of 2022. He was 77 years old. Time to go and watch that Woodstock documentary. Mm, mm -mm. It's a crazy, 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 really. Woodstock, there was nothing like it. It changed music forever. I mean, I mean, I wasn't there. I was I wasn't even born yet, but no, I was born. I was two born? years old, so I couldn't go there. But there were lots of babies born and created at that festival. Not lots of babies born there. I, there had to be a baby or two born there. Right. But there were lots of babies made there. Oh, yeah. I would love to know if you're a Woodstock baby. Well, Let uh, me know. Yeah, and you know, you probably don't, don't even know who your father is. That's uh, that, I mean, that, 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 that was amazing. It was amazing. I know who my father is. <laughs> But, but you know, and, and the, the, the fact that uh, Marty Balin was there, yeah, uh, uh, Jefferson Airplane, and just so many artists, and it was, it was great. It, 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 was, it was just a different time back then. Oh boy, was it! I mean, a different every, every, time. everybody was free. I mean, yeah. I mean, every, everybody talked to each other. Everybody was, I mean, when I mean free, they mean they watched and listened and they they absorbed with what you're talking about. I mean, it didn't have to get, didn't have to get high all the time, but it, it was great. Right. What does, what does that mean? Well, a lot of people have to get high all the time. No, but, Just some of the time. No, but a lot of people back then smoked. I mean, which, which was the thing to do, but, but, but it, I mean, it, they, they love life. They, they love life. I mean, you didn't, as I said, you didn't have to get high all the time. What I mean, you got high on life. You know, that's a great thing. And I think that should be a slogan going into 2022. Love life. Right. Love life. Or get be, high. Ha be happy. Right. Be positive. Because you know what? Right. I, I found this other guy. Yeah, but you, you got to be, be positive. But but yet the things that happen in the world, like you talked this morning about, you know, people dying and it's very, very sad. And, it, it, it's, it's, you know, talk about Michael Lane and, and, and the community. It, it's, it's, it's life. But it's better life. Yeah. But, but it's sad. But, 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 but we got to, while we're here, we got to enjoy ourselves and, and, and have the best time possible. I mean, so this gentleman I found on YouTube not too long ago, I've been watching him for a little bit now. And he's so right, you know, because I, I watch a lot of different things like you guys do. But th this has just been sticking in my mind. Listen to people who are going to give you information, valuable information you can use. And listen to people who are positive with that information and will give you a, t a solution for the information they're giving you. Instead of continuously listening to negative things, right. okay, negative, negative, negative. Okay, but what's the outcome to that negative information you're being fed? What is the positive that's coming out of it? So that is sticking with me a lot. And I think about it every single day. He's absolutely right. Give the positive information or the information you need to give. But what can you do to make that, if it's a negative piece of information, what can you do to make that positive and make it work for you? Get high in life. Yeah, right. That's and right. I, I think I that's, mean, that's true. I, I think mean, being people, elevated, people, being positive is just going to, it just makes things easier. Again, like I say all the time, everything's not lollipops and roses. It's not, even though sometimes right. the land that I live in is lollipops and roses, but we all know it's, it can't be like that. However, 
you can create your own destiny and you can create your own being. I have to wipe my nose. Okay, go wipe your nose. Well, I'm right here. But, 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 but the, the thing is... Look at that. I have I have tissue, right? Isn't that, isn't that but, but convenient? You can be positive, but, but at the same time, you know, Bob passing away is, is he's only 65 years old and, you know, he's such iconic and, and brought so much laughter and joy into people's lives. Well, it's weird because and, I don't know why. But, 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 That's the weird but, thing. But, but, we don't know why, like Betty White passing away last last week or whatever. So quickly. You know, she was sick. And she just passed away just like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we know that people have to, uh, you know, they die but but Bob, that's too early, man. I mean, he was doing a show. I mean, he's done so many iconic things. I was watching. Uh, he, uh, I guess some, I guess some radio broadcasters when they came out of the pandemic. He was he was the first one on the show, and then Bob was on the radio show like two weeks ago. And I mean, it just it, it's not right. And he, but you gotta be positive. But it's reality too, and it just it sucks sometimes. And and, and you know we that's why. You have to be high in life. You got to stay positive. You got to enjoy your spouses and your friends and everybody else around you. And the, the small things don't really matter, do it's, they? It's, they don't. Small things don't matter. Oh my God, the floor is not clean today. Who cares? Oh, I care. Why? I I, I swiffered the floor. No, I'm not Saturday. The floor. I'm, not, I'm like I'm I'm not. I I care about you that. You make me clean the floor after the broadcast. That's great. No, I I. I totally, I cleaned our floor Saturday because it was right. driving me insane. Right. Because you know, like if something spills and then it leaves a mark. Yeah. And then you just keep walking by it. Right. Right. I'm I like, know. I'm not walking by that mark anymore. I'm going to clean it. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I know. It, this is what Good morning, Jody, by the way. Oh. Kiss will be releasing a performance they did in 2004 from Virginia Beach on March 11th. Now, I said to myself, self, why is that such an important event for KISS to be releasing now in 2022, 18 years later? So I went back and I dug in a little more because I can't remember every date and time, time stamp and, and all of that stuff. So I, I, I just can't. Now in 2001, this is what I, I came up with, a little, little chart here, a little visual mental virtual chart yeah in 2001 while kiss was on their farewell tour yes in 2001 kiss was on one of their farewell tours i can't eat i can't well peter chris decided to not continue because they all just could not agree on how much he should be getting paid the band was going to retire they released a huge box set and then think ahead to when Gene released The Vault in 2017. Kind of similar, right? I mean, the one they released in 2001 and Gene's in 2007, Gene's was bigger. I'm, I'm sure he would love that. This is also the year The Kiss Casket came out. And they also were honored at the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences Heroes Award Ceremony, which is a pretty big deal. But there was just more than that because Peter left at the end of 2002 and Ace Freely left. Now, Peter went back in 2003. Ace was still out and Ace was permanently replaced by Tommy Thayer. So here we go. The new band is being built right in front of us. Eric Singer is the one who stepped in when Peter left. So they kept Eric around even when Peter was there because they had a plan. They always have a plan or a backup plan because they always have a, some type of plan. I mean, it's Gene and Paul for crying out loud. In 2004, Gene and Paul did not renew Peter's contract and bam, there's your new lineup, which does not appear to have any drama. When you think about it, these guys are pretty, pretty calm. Anything that ever happens is usually just from Gene. So it appears that they all do. And have gotten along. Now, in 2004, they went out as the new Kiss, even though they were saying goodbye just a few years before. And they went on the Rock the Nation tour, and Poison opened for them. You know Poison, my little Breddy, singing for the oh, for it. the people. Little Breddy. Say good morning to Janet in Maryland this morning. She's listening. Good morning. And Howard is making some dirty comments, but that's fine. 
Peter Chris, he was mad because he apparently and allegedly thought he would be touring, but that did not happen. And it's some of these 2004 shows were filmed. They did release a DVD on December 13th of 2005, but this next release is specifically from the Virginia Beach Amphitheater on July 25th of 2004. You will also get the option of ordering a two CD set or a three green vinyl album set. Love those. I love those special edition vinyl records. Now, Kiss the Way It Is Now has been the most stable lineup. And like I said, pretty calm for the most part, you know, like Jello and whipped cream. You know, it's just easy and it goes together. And and no one ever complains about Jello and whipped cream. They just don't. So March 11th, look out for that. Jello and whipped cream? 2004 Kiss release. You like whipped cream, don't you? You know, you here's the thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I love whipped cream. Right. I'm not going to lie about it. Yeah. Cool Whip. What? I mean, I can I can eat that too. Whipped cream is just more fun because when you press this and it, you could just make a pattern. Whipped cream is more fun. What do you mean by that? Like when I put it on my pudding last night. Yeah. And you spray the bottle, like yeah. you could, oh, like swirling it. I feel like I work in an ice cream shop. You know really? what I mean? It just, it's so fun. <laughs> it's just kind of like so some you, fun you, for you myself. You like the noise and the, th- the sounds that the whipped cream makes then, right? I do. And wow. then occasionally, yeah, I put the can in my mouth and squirt, you know. You it's, put the can of whipped cream in your mouth? Yeah. It, 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 how do you? It's only the two of us. Who cares? It's not even right. Even when the kids were living at the house, I right. I still did it. So you, is that something to, to try at home? You take the can of whipped cream and spray it in your mouth. Yeah, then it makes you feel good. I would do it. Spray it in your, it in makes your you feel like a child. Really? I love that. Wow, I never knew that about whipped cream. No, it's, it's kind of interesting. I always try to get you to do that, and you won't do it. Not because I'm not you say in, open up. No, but and he's like, no, I'm not into swallowing whipped cream in my mouth. That's no, kind of weird. Not doing it. No, I'm. Mean, it's kind of weird. You it's know, not, it's not weird. It is weird. It's kind of whatever. No, yeah. I'm just, I'm just kind of looking at the comments. Any you might more? have had a medical issue. Don't even. Yeah, it's true. Like, here's the whole thing about Bob Saget. It's a very mysterious thing, and hopefully, it comes out that we find out something because he just did a show. So he did. He started his tour on the seventh, and I believe had a show on the eighth as well, and passed away on the ninth. So. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, my uh, friend Mark Summers was very upset about it. He worked with him at the comedy clubs up in L.A. <clears> back <throat> in the day, and uh, yeah, it's sad. It sucks. This sucks. That's why you got to be high in life, like Howard this morning. You know, like uh, he's, he's good for he's, him. He's ridiculous with the commas. Howard, good, good for you, Howard. Go oh be my. high. <laughs> his commas this morning is just ridiculous. He needs true help. There are so many what ifs now. Like my mean? gosh, there were just so many. That show is coming, awesome. But literally and sadly, in the back of my head, I'm wondering. If some of these shows coming up this year will really happen, I stay positive as we just talked about with with all of the craziness happening and the changes that are just continuous, you know, we're playing. No, we're not playing. Oh, we're playing. And then a few minutes before, hey, guess what? Sorry, we're not playing. Oh, that's okay. I just flew halfway across the country to see you play, but you're not playing. So it's just... There's so many variables right now, but we do have something coming up for the first time. It's called Creatures Fest, scheduled to happen in Nashville. I want to go to Nashville. Creatures Fest? I just want to go to Nashville because it just seems so fun. May 27th through the 29th will be the first event and hopefully many more to come if they happen. Let's hope they happen. And some pretty cool folks are going to be performing there. This is a good lineup, I I will say. Vixen, Quiet Riot, Enough's Enough, and here here's what people are being blown away by: Ace Freely, who who is great, and Vinnie Vincent. I know, I yeah, I know. But here's the question: that's Will right. Vinnie show up? We just he might, he might not, because that's always the question when it comes to Vinnie. Now, hopefully, it happens because for Ace and Vinnie to be together will be pretty iconic for fans to see because who knows when this will ever 
happen again. Right. You just don't know. Now, there is no word if Vinny will perform. He should, because my gosh, when was the last time he performed is for Vinny, is the Vinny, public? Is Vinny good? From what I understand, I mean, he's still very, very good. Wasn't Robert Fleischer involved with him for a while, too? Yes, Sal. Thank you so much for putting your two cents in. Thanks. Thank you. I believe it was in May in Nashville that Vinny did perform. Mike Brunn did a podcast from there. Vinny did perform a two-hour set, but there was no recording allowed. He did 14 songs, and like Mike said, I agree. Totally sad. It was not able to be recorded because time's going by, time's ticking, and fans would just love to see where Vinny is at artistically today. I mean, Vinny fans just want to see Vinny. And it sounds like there weren't that many fans at this event, maybe 50 people. It was it was a pretty private thing. Now, if Vinny does perform at the Creatures Fest, we will get the chance to see where Vinny is at. And hopefully he gives fans that chance. Hopefully he performs. And it would be really cool if he did something with Ace on that stage. Yeah. And that's what I got for Classic Rock Raw today on this Monday, January 10th of 2022. Crazy. I just want to get my two cents. And that's... Well, your two cents sometimes just needs to be pushed off just, just a tad. Why? To maybe wait until it builds up to four cents, which could be no. in 25 years. What do you mean by two cents? Thanks for giving me your two cents. What did that mean? Because I was talking. Yeah, I know you were talking, but I was... You I have was, a habit of interrupting. Yeah, no, I wasn't interrupting. I, I, I said that Vinnie Vincent was involved with Robert Fleischer, and then he said, thanks for your two cents. And oh, then my I, God, that's so much better. No, it's much better. No, look, look, no, oh, my God. Will you take, I turned the light off. That put, looks so much better. Put, make it a nickel. Put your two cents back on and put it back on again. It looks better with the light on, but whatever. You're going to do what you want to do. Anyway. I don't think it looks better with the light on. Huh? I don't think it looks better with the light on. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. I just can't this morning. <sighs> Oh, it's gonna be a great. Oh wait a minute, Ebony. What? Ebony said, "Good morning, Kiki and Al." Okay. Al, I'm a... don't, don't, don't say the rest because you don't. Until you know. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, but the, right. the the thing is that Thursday we have a, a good, great program coming up we here do. on Kiki FM. We do tell everybody what's going to be happening. Give you two cents this morning. So Apollonia, the girl on the back of the bike, and I, I hope she doesn't mind me saying that, but she is the girl on the back of the bike in Purple Rain because she played Prince's girlfriend in Purple Rain. And like I've said to you guys, how many how many times have we watched the movie Purple Rain? And I watched it so many times as a teenager and I watched it again. Was it two weekends ago? I watched it again and I sat there and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this was just an iconic movie. And the fact that I get to talk to her is, it's just so cool for me. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. I know you will because everybody is pretty excited and it brings you back to those. She's just so sweet. Special so, times. so sweet. She, she, just the roles that she played in the Purple Rain movie, she was fantastic. And the videos and Let's Go Crazy and everything else is just really amazing. I mean, it just that, those were great times. Talking about being high in life, that was when everybody was high in life. Yep. And she's a sweetheart. And she's, oh. she's talk about positive. She's a very positive right. woman. And she loves to help lift up other women, which right. is so unusual and rare no. right now. So it's great. But, it's just really nice. But as I said earlier, she's a beautiful lady and she's, she's a very nice human being. Very, very nice. nice. Very sweet. And Mark said, Mark the calendar. Steve Perry was not mentioned once. I tried, Mark. You know, I could have, I could have blown okay. something out of thanks, my thanks Mark for bringing that up it wasn't, it wasn't mentioned once but now, but now it was. it's being mentioned twice yeah, and and it's going to be mentioned three times now because I just I was going to make something daily, up about I Steve Perry I was fine I was fine Mark until right about now and you had to bring him up yeah thanks a lot Mark nothing appreciate see it. he's going to be quiet now until April he's well, going to he's going to be quiet he's right probably now. in hibernation Okay, we're talking about Prince why did they bring up Steve what's his name Perry right now Mark why are you doing this to me it's, it's, uh, but isn't that interesting what? that Michael Lang, who just passed away, co-creator of Woodstock, yeah, he also worked with Prince. Isn't, I that, heard that. isn't that coincidental? I, I, I couldn't believe that you said it. So, I didn't even realize. See, I mean, it's crazy. So he worked together with Prince. Yeah. I don't know exactly. I didn't dig yeah. into what they did together, but he did work with Prince, which you, is you know like, what I, wow. I have to make an observation. I know it's kind of weird and it's not me. It's probably my drug days. 
But when I look at Prince and I look at Jimi Hendrix, they, they look almost alike, don't they? You know, I do. I do think that Jimi Hendrix was a role model for Inf- Prince. Influence on him, right? Yeah. I mean, who was Jimi Hendrix not a role model? Well, Jimi Hendrix was a freaking awesome guitar player. I mean, the fact that he closed out Woodstock, Jimi Hendrix did. Right, and everybody was asleep by that. No, but, but and he was ten hours. <clears throat> he he was supposed to perform ten hours before that. Right, and he just waited, waited his turn. Oh my! God. And I think he started at nine o'clock that Monday morning. And I wow. believe, don't quote me, but I believe the last song he played was "Star Spangled Banner." Yes. And people had always questioned why he made that song choice, but I think because he wanted everybody to stand up and leave. No, he wanted everybody to just right. you know, again, the whole peace and love thing. And <laughs> he wanted to bring everybody together. You, so. you said the two magic words, peace and love. That yeah. that was the, the whole traction at that time. But Prince Ringo Star. That's what he does all the time. I love it. But but Prince, his guitar playing was phenomenal. Oh phenomenal. Over the top. I've been watching some videos the last few days and just watching him and just going back in time and watching his performance yeah. at the Super Bowl. I think it was in 2007. It, it was it was pouring rain, wasn't it, Kiki? Yeah, we already talked about that. We did? Yeah, but Kiki, the people. The, you're true. You're you're true. You're right. right. You're right. We we. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah, I just give my two cents. It, it's 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 a fabulous. <laughs> two, like it's the best two cents it's a, ever. It, it's going to be a new episode here. Two cents. To you know, maybe out. I'll talk about Steve Perry tomorrow. No, you, if you do, I'm not. And I'm I wonder if here. Steve Perry ever worked with Prince. No, he didn't work with Prince. No. <gasps> there we go. No, there's a, there's a little story I could stop, put no, together. I'm like, I'm like, All right, so I'm going to look in. No. Let me write that down. Before I no, forget he, it. Never, don't don't talk about him tomorrow. Got my pen. Mark, you, Mark, I, uh, I, I just Mark, did no, no. Steve Perry. Who cares? Oh my God. Work with Prince. All right, so I got to look that up now. That's that's interesting. I Thanks, have, Mark. I have the answer right now. No, <laughs> no. I bet you. I bet you they did something. They did because do rem- nothing. Uh, remember. 83, 84, 85, 86. Big, big yeah. years for both of them. So yeah, but, but I bet they did something. Right? Right. Well, Mike <laughs> says keep the change. Yeah, I'll give you, a, I'll give you some Thank change. Thank you so but, much, Mark. You know, uh, that's that's why we love having you here. That's great. And we love everybody uh, uh, joining us. Every, uh, the weekend, uh, people were listening from all around the nation. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe how listenership is just blowing up every day. It's right. just bigger and bigger and bigger, which is great. But we have so many new listeners from Washington State now. Uh, we have a bunch of new listeners from Ontario. We've always had good listeners yes. in Ontario, Canada. We have in Japan as well. <laughs> Japan. But uh, all different states. throughout, And big listenership yesterday and Saturday from New Mexico, from the Al- Albuquerque. Interesting. I wonder if it's warm there. I don't know, Kiki. I'm sure it's warmer than it is here. I mean, what do you mean? I wonder if there are warm? any teepees there. What do you mean teepees? What the hell are you talking about? You think there's Indians that live in New Mexico? Well, living in the desert, and then you just put up a teepee and just just live in the desert. Listen. Drink from a cactus. I don't know. Like just, I'm, it, it, what do you mean? Drink from a cactus? What the? Heck? I'm make sure, some pottery. Like this. What are you doing? I'm. I'm just. Oh god. What? I. The, the question is, in New Mexico, they drink from a cactus and put whipped cream on it. That's the thing that I, I want to know. know. You know, I just. Oh, is it hot there? Oh, is it warm there? Oh, is it cold there? I bet it's hot. Cold? I bet it's hot. Who cares what the temperature is? But thanks for all the. Are there any like gas stations in the middle of the desert? In New Mexico? No, because they run off of cactus juice. What the hell? Who cares? You, you know what it? just popped into my head? Oh, my God. What popped into National you? Lampoon's European vacation. No, not European. National Lampoon's vacation when they go in the European? desert. No, not that one. I've and Chevy European Chase, vacation. like their car, he drove the car into the sand, and then he right. had to walk to right. town to get right. them help right. yeah. for their car. And then right. when he gets there, mm. The family's all there at the gas the, station, like the crummy European. gas station right. where they they really ripped him off bad. Right. And Chevy Chase like like he couldn't breathe. It was fun. Right, uh, European. Uh, uh, How many times do you used I to watch go, go National peace, Lampoon's so. Vacation? Like that was another one. Who, who, I used to watch that who all was the time that movie? too. Who's, Beverly D'Angelo, Chevy Chase. Oh, Chevy Chase. Okay, that was good. Yeah, it was a good movie. Was it Michael Anthony Hall? Was it Michael Anthony Hall? I think so. I don't know. Um, that was a good movie. Jim, was it Jim Belushi? 
No, you know. I don't know. Help me. I it? think so. What was the Chevy Chase movie we watched a couple of weeks ago? What was that? National what? Lampoon's I Vacation. See. I gotta see these. I gotta, what did I Bless see? you. I haven't seen it. I don't think. Bless really. you. It's gonna come. You Bless ever, you. You ever feel like a sneeze is gonna come and then it doesn't come? Yeah, you have to look at a bright light. <clears throat> that helps you. So that helps it come did out. You know that every time you sneeze, you, your heart stops. Right. Mark said no gas stations in New Mexico, just a horse with no name. Oh my gosh, remember that too? The two guys on the horses, what the horsies in, in that movie, and they were laughing at Chevy. But Chase. I used to I used to like playing the horse with no name on the radio station because I used to be able to go take a bathroom break. You know, it was like the long America. Break. America. A horse on the dark name. side of the journey. It, it was good. Uh, okay. Don't stop saying, please. I just can't. And rocks and, and so we did a Friday night broadcast. And you all see, you, I've been through did, the desert uh, on a horse it, with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can remember your name because there ain't no one for it to give you no pain. Da 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 da. Uh, I wonder if the horse ever had any whipped cream. But the, it, it, no, I don't think horses can have that. They can. I think that would be detrimental. To their horse life. Maybe we should get a horse. No, nope. I'm just saying they're very cute. Yeah, but they're a lot of work. They're they're oh worse than God. just like okay. So we have our little Yorkie Louie, right? He is as much work, maybe oh more God. than a person. He is because he's, he's so ass. no, he's but he's, he's very. He ass. wants you to know. He wants you to know when he's there. He, right, which is twenty four seven. He wants you to pay attention to him and he just, but he's so freaking cute. Oh my God. This little four pound thing just sitting. I like, he's so cute. I'd rather have a horse. I can't. Nope. Maybe some goats. No. I mean, goats too are too much work. The Nubian or pygmy goats. The, the, the only problem is the urine smells. That's the only problem. And here's the thing. Then you got to build a barn because you can't leave them outside. Like you can't just leave them outside. Leave them outside. No, no. no, you leave them outside in like a lean to thing or whatever. No. You, you put a I would feel in. awful. I would feel awful when it snows. I would oh, want my, to you, come oh, in. I no, can't. I can't. I can't do that. So, so tell her the radio listening on his YouTube audience this morning. What, what you try to do to me over the weekend? You said, "Who oh, there's a cat? Go get the cat out!" So hey, it's like you know, it's got like a big social is coming. She wants me to try to catch a strange cat and bring it into the. the I think the it home. was Thursday night. We Thursday. came back. We came home from Market Basket. It wasn't turned on Thursday, yeah. And all the food was gone because a big snowstorm was coming, and like <laughs> literally, there's not any snow on the ground today. Three days later, right. And we came home, we pulled in the driveway, and this beautiful black kitty cat with a big, big, bushy, furry tail. Bushy tail on kitty cat. It was right there, and I said, go get the kitty, because yeah. it's cold, like it was cold oh, Thursday night. And I said, go yeah. get the kitty go, cat, because yeah. we can't have the kitty cat go, turn go outside by itself. Go catch the cat. cat. Yeah, 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 and I said, go catch, catch the kitty. So I was oh, calling my. the kitty. The kitty's like, no, no, not having any of it. No. And I haven't seen the kitty cat since, but I feel no. like there's a cat outside I think like just waiting to be my friend right but i think i, I do i think the cat good morning piper oh my gosh where you been hi hope piper, all is well i miss you every everybody we miss here, you piper everybody in the youtube channel say good morning to piper hi, piper piper is a great person and we love Piper. it's we, we love, love piper, piper day here on kiki oh. FM. i love piper piper monday just another piper monday what do you mean by good morning kiki out in room, what is room because room? it's the whole chat room oh i get it al you got to get up to snuff with digitalization i don't even know what the hell it right is. i know i don't even know what tiktok is or tic tac or whatever the tic whatever in instagram i gotta or, tell you my uh, favorite tick all right so tiktok videos that my favorites are the cat ones and mm. the food ones there are some great food ones that i have literally i learned how to make pretzel bites over the weekend i didn't did. do it but i'm going to i think this week because i do have some pillsbury pizza dough really so apparently what you do is you take a roll of pillsbury pizza dough yep. you cut it up into strips okay then you cut those strips into rec little rectangles like this big right rectangles? you roll them into balls balls yeah you get a pot of boiling water with a little bit of baking soda baking. interesting i don't baking understand soda? that whole reason you, blow up if you, you pop baking. them in there and then they crisp up yeah you drain and then 
pat them with a paper towel. You don't want, want them to be all greasy. You want to put salt on it salt, and yeah. then dip it in dip like it. your favorite dipping sauce, maybe some horseradish mustard, some oh, ketchup or something. And there you go. There are pretzel bites. Oh, my God. So they sound really good. So I got to try that. I love horseradish because it makes the hair in your nose stand up. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, God. We miss you too, Piper. So no, it's so good to see you here. Hey, Tracy, what's up? So we have to vacate the room now. And right, because I have to go sneeze. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit the like button and the notification bell. It lets you know every single time that we're here being silly. And then just a reminder what's going on Thursday, Kiki. Oh, my God. Apollonia. Apollonia. Famous 80s Apollonia will be here talking to me. Well, you'll hear her. You won't see her. But you will hear my interview with Apollonia on Thursday night. I can't even believe it. So, What time is it going to be at? Is it 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific? You got it. Thank You're you what? so much. Thanks. I'm so excited about Thanks that. Thanks for putting your two cents in there. And make sure you download the app, Kiki.fm, totally free. Whether you have an iPhone or an Android, you can find us in the App Store. If you have an Alexa, say, Alexa enable kiki.fm and then she'll do it and then from there on out you just say alexa play kiki.fm and there you go all the time alexa will be there playing us for you which is i i just think that's that's amazing like the world we live in is just so crazy <laughs> go ahead and follow me on instagram facebook meta tiktok and twitter guys have an amazing day it's monday you know Mondays can, you can go one way or another with a Monday. You can make it a mad Monday, look like a, like a bass, be like mad. A, like a bass? Is that what you said? Be bass? mad, yep, be mad Monday. You can make it a two set Monday. Or you could turn that frown upside down and make it, make it a real happy Monday. Yeah. Have, it's a happy Monday. Go I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go, right. with, this is going to be the best Monday ever. And I hope you guys have the best Monday ever. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you're kind to everyone because you just got to be. Stay strong and always remember, most importantly, to keep rocking. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for listening. Why did I just do that with a phone thing? Because, well, you could be listening on your phone, but thank you for listening and thank you for your support. We love you guys so, so much. And we just appreciate literally every single one of you. Go and get it. Go and get it today. Go and get it? What does that mean? I don't know. Just go get it. So Whatever it is you're getting, go Jen, get it. Jenna made a, co a comment over on Facebook. She almost went to Woodstock. Can you believe that? Dang. I mean, if she went to Woodstock, maybe Mark wouldn't be here. On that thought, have yourself a good Tuesday <laughs> Monday. Bye-bye. And hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much and have a great day.